So a while back I did a video on how to preserve a bug in hand sanitizer, and I hadn't checked on that video in a while, so I had no idea there were so many questions. I know in the video I called it a locust, and it is actually a cicada. Um, that's just kind of what I grew up calling them um, with my family and everything. So he's doing pretty good. It's been well over six months now um, that I've had him preserved. He's shifted just a bit, but not too much. He's still definitely suspended and everything. Yeah, so he's doing really good. So somebody asked how long I had the bug in the hand sanitizer before I put it into its permanent jar, and that was a week. Um, sometimes you might want to have it in there longer depending on the size of the bug. Like mine was like a medium sized one. I know that there are definitely bigger bugs than this in the world. For smaller bugs, I would do probably only three to five days. You don't really need it. If their bodies are smaller, you don't really need them in there that long. So somebody asked if he needed to poke holes inside of the bug um, for the hand sanitizer to get into its body, and you do not need to do that. After you have it dried out, you just put it in the hand sanitizer and it will absorb it into its skin just naturally. So somebody asked how long you need to dry a bug before you can put it in the hand sanitizer. I'm not sure how long my cicada was out drying because I found it outside already dry, but um, with the specimens that I use, sometimes I dry them up to a month. For example, I have um, a moth and this one, before I mounted it, I dried it for a month. Um, so I would just do it just to be sure for a while. Some places say that you can dry your bug up to like two weeks and it'll be fine. I just do it longer just to be safe. Especially if you're gonna um, preserve it in hand sanitizer, they leak and things like that. And I don't know, you kind of want to make sure that all that stuff is dry. And finally, somebody asked if I know how to preserve a bug in a locket to wear as a necklace. You can use this for like little jars and things like that with the cork. The only issue is finding a good um, adhesive to keep the cork on because I used um, for a previous project, I made necklaces with little millipedes in them, and um, once the adhesive I used dried up, it left like a white residue. So like finding something that closes well and won't leave like a sticky, gross residue is kind of um, still a challenge that I'm trying to overcome. The lady actually said that she found a scorpion that she wanted to put into a necklace. Um, that's probably what you're looking for is resin which I don't personally know how to do yet. It's the stuff that hardens that you put specimens into. Just for fun, another method that I've used to preserve things, uh, this is actually a lizard, um, is just three parts rubbing alcohol and then one part water, and then this will actually be preserved for 40 years. This is my sister, she helps me with the videos. Say hi, Sid. <laughs> But thank you for your questions. I'm sorry I didn't get to them as early as I would have liked to. Um, I'll definitely be checking up on my videos more often and posting about my oddities and things like that. I'm Ashley, aka Wild Cosmia. Thanks for watching.